Hello YouTube, it's Hawk from Star Ops Airsoft today doing a review on the UTG M56 Bravo Tri Shot Shotgun. <laughs> um, the box is very nicely decorated, but I don't really know why you guys care about it because I already shot the box. I'll talk about the gun for a bit. Uh, you can get it for $38.40 from evike.com, and I think it's on sale right now. Um, inside the box comes with this and the instruction manual. It's a lot of Chinglish and I don't really care about it. This sling over here that I dropped. The sling and it has these weird, it has no clips on it, it's just plastic. Like these weird plastic slidey things that go on it. So you can tighten it and adjust it and it's not actually that bad. I mean you could use it but you could probably put something else on it. And then it comes with 20 gram BBs, or so it feels like. Either 20 gram or uh, 12 gram. And a speed loader inside the box. Comes with the speed loader and the BBs and stuff. And the important parts is it comes with this cleaning rod. And this here. And it comes with the shotgun itself. And just take the shell out. Just hit the spot here. It also comes with the shell inside the shotgun. At least mine did. Um, the shotgun, like I said earlier, is thirty-eight dollars and forty cents from evike.com. That's where I got it. If you couldn't tell, and it's licensed by a lot of people. Well, there's a lot of there's there's a lot of clones. This is an actual clone, and the clone is as good as the real thing. In this case, and this gun is all plastic, and the grip, uh, the pump and the grip are rubberized. And it has three barrels inside of it, but I don't know if you can see it, because there's no lighting in here. But, there's three barrels inside of it, and the spread is reasonable on it. It's not that bad. And, I have put this gun through a lot of shooting and a lot of messing around with it and stuff. And I have intentionally broken some pieces off and taken some pieces off. And actually, right here, you can twist, on this model, you can twist this thing off. This, on the front, where the shells would go on the real uh, M56 Bravo which is what the shotgun is based off of. Uh, you can twist this off. And there's a sling ring that goes on here. And then you can put the, so that we can have the sling running from here to this other uh, sling loop in the back, or whatever you want to call it. And just put that back on, loosely at least. And then what else I did, because I use a shotgun scabbard, is there's these weird little nubby things right here that stick up and catch inside of that scabbard really easily so I went and took a pair of wire cutters and broke those off and sanded it down a little bit because this has no function anyways um so that, that's really about that's really the modifications that I've done to it and they won't I, I don't really care if I do that kind of stuff I'll say this is a budget gun but it will last a while and a lot of people say it's hard to pull back and that's because it kind of is but you get used to it after a while and you can do that too, which is pretty cool. That's fun. And it has a standard shotgun safety, the one you see all the time, which is right behind the trigger, and just flips out to the side, like on a Red Rider BB gun, kind of like that. And the sights on here, there's painted on, and it's a pyramid sight here, just here, traditional iron sights, and there's no rail, which I kind of like because I don't need a special stuff with my shotgun. Um, it spreads out. The shots from this one spread out pretty well, and you can actually, you can still clean the barrel and stuff, but it's not meant to be taken apart, because like I said, it's a budget shotgun, and it's actually custom. And inside, I'm pretty sure it's a, a big spring with a smaller spring inside of it, so that may be why it's hard to pull back, but I'm just doing this really quick. Yeah, it's kind of loud. Um, yeah, my view why it's so hard to pull back is because there's two springs you're pulling back instead of just one. Now, I'll go over... The more important things about this, it has a, a matte black finish, and the whole thing is matte black. Um, three has three barrels, like I said, and each shell has 30 BBs so you can put inside of it, and each shot uses three BBs, so that's 10 shots per shell. Um, and it, on the website, it says there's a metal outer barrel, but on this one, it's actually plastic, and yeah, it's, it's, it's really plastic, and I don't really, I don't care about it, honestly. Um... And it's 290 to 330 FPS. I bet you could lower that with heavier BBs. <clears throat> and it's, according 
to the scale is four pounds. And this one is. And the shell, um, the shell's not that bad either. And you can get spheres on Evike for like 14 bucks and you can get six of them. So that's 70 shocks that you get from one purchase, including this shell. Now the functions of the gun I'll go over. Again, there's a safety here. And then to open the, uh, the spot where the shell goes, which I guess we'll just call it a magazine, is you push this little switch back in front of the, the trigger, well, next to the trigger guard, you pull it back towards the trigger, and this door opens, and you take the shell, and kind of like loading an AK magazine, you put it in like, not, not straight down, but at an angle, so like this, and it'll pop into place, and you put the door on, and actually, yeah, and it'll also eject the shell sometimes, but you can actually shoot it without the door on it, and do what I like to do sometimes, is just use this as a kick rip, like that. Even though it's not the best idea, you can still do it. Um, E-Bike also carries the medium sized one with a standard stock, and then they carry a long one that has a longer barrel on it, which is actually kind of big, and then the uh, adjustable one. And I chose this one because I knew I was going to be using it in a scabbard, and I knew it would be large, so I went and just got it as small as I could get it, and honestly, the stock, I just don't, I don't really, I need this small, small and compact and easy to maneuver really close up. So that's why I got this uh, stubby one, and in my opinion, it's one of the better ones. I don't know why you need a giant one unless you're, like, duck hunting. Even, you're not going to duck hunt with an airsoft gun. But, yeah. The, uh, where, on the real one, on the real M56 Bravo, this is where the, um, the shell would come out, would eject after you shot, and there's not even a charging candle on this, but I don't really care. And there's the actual release. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's an actual release. I'm not sure. I don't know an actual one. <laughs> But yeah, this it's all about shotgun. I'll do an accuracy test, and you can use any gram you want. Like, I use 12 gram BBs in it, and 20 grams, and 23s, and 25s, and 36s, and 40 grams, because I have all those. But I'll probably do a test with 12 grams, and 20 grams, and 36. And I'll do a spread test and stuff on that. But yeah, I mean, this is a really nice shotgun. I'd highly recommend you buy it. Uh, and I just, I'll just say about the scabbard, it, it, you have to break it in a lot, because it's really stiff. But you have to break it in, and it's a lot bigger than you think it is, than the scabbard is. This, it's a great shotgun, I love it. It's, it's accurate, and it spreads, and it does, it does it what you need, it does exactly what you need it to do. And you can just go and paint a spot on the shotgun shell so you know what type of weight of BB you're using in it. Um, you can mix the weights around in it for different scenarios. Like, uh... The heavier BBs tend to not spread out as much as the 20 gram ones, and then the uh, 12 gram ones, if you put orange ones in it, they spread out a lot, and actually kind of looks like a, that one shotgun from Black Ops, I think it's like the Dragon Breath or something, I don't know, I don't really play Call of Duty anymore, but it look, it like kind of looks like fire and it spreads out. And uh, one more thing I want to say before I wrap this up, this gun has a really cool function, I'm sorry I say this to the end, it has a really cool function called Slam Fire. And what that allows you to do is hold down the trigger and just keep pumping it, like pumping the shotgun, and it'll just keep shooting. Like it'll, like every time you pump the shotgun back, it'll shoot, and you just hold down the trigger. Even though it can be kind of hard to do, but you can still do it. But yeah, I'll probably get to the shooting test in a little bit. This is Hawk from Star Ops Airsoft signing off, and I really recommend this gun for anybody who wants a shotgun that's really good. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go on to the next video that I gotta do. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. This is Hawk from Star Officer Soft signing off. And stay safe, wear your guard protection. I'm standing up and getting around these boxes. And, uh, yeah. Don't break the law. And be safe.